back with another video for those of you who are one of y'all's crazy naturalists now for those of you who know me you know that i'm a big tree hugger i love the flowers the plants the, the bees the bugs the dogs the cats whatever it is especially the water the fish all of that that's my thing so um <laughs> i um I wanted to come and let y'all know a natural way to repel roaches and I want to say it works with gnats and flies also so first of all let me tell you how this came along so one day um, I was in the kitchen and I don't know I was in the living room because what happened was okay let me get it together we had a tenant who moved in and they had a roach infestation because um, I don't know if y'all been following the news this happened uh the beginning of this year i believe around what they call easter oh it was on easter the most high came through and told he was disrespectful <laughs> to these christians on easter so anyway our tornado came and literally jumped over our building that we lived in that we live in and it went behind us in the back parking lot and tore up everything this happened on easter so all around us literally whenever we walk out and we go like two three blocks up and around everything around us is just tore up. like they still rebuilding stuff since easter so um someone moved in and they had a infestation of um roaches i'm allergic to roaches so we started seeing roaches here and there little baby roaches mama pregnant roaches this and that just coming out but i have seeds that i save for my um planting seasons and i lay them out on the counter on the well on top of my coffee pot on a paper towel for them to air dry because i don't need them to mildew so sometimes it might if i'm not using a fan then sometimes it might take like a week for those seeds to dry all the way out the way that they need to just with the air that we have going on in the house and the fans and stuff like that so you would expect roaches because roaches are ruthless baby they do not care you would expect for the roaches to be all over those seeds i have squash seeds um pepper seeds um, and I have garlic up there, I have ginger, and I have um, where I, after I use my green onions, I cut them down because I replant them or either I put them in water and I continue to, to um, grow them over and over again until they're not putting out anymore, which is a while. And they grow very quickly, by the way. So I have some of them up there and then I might have like watermelon seeds. I don't know if I said it already, or orange seeds or lemon seeds. So. Um, I said to my husband one day, I said, Daddy, you notice that the roaches ain't messing with the seeds and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, they'll let you know that we don't have no bad roaches. I said, oh, okay, I understand that. But what I'm telling you is there are no roaches, not even baby roaches. I have not seen them go anywhere near, the, near this stuff. And this is like the place where if if you were to put this stuff inside of a house in the middle of the floor with nothing but roaches in that house they would demolish that stuff so i went online and i started looking instantly because i said to him before i started searching i was like i wonder if this garlic or if this ginger is stopping these roaches from coming to this stuff lo and behold garlic get you some garlic if you have roaches in your house, this stuff will keep them roaches away. They don't, I don't even see them crawling around on my counter because this garlic is sitting up there. So, how can you use it? You can take and bust the garlic down into pieces and sit it in different areas of your house it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to be this strong garlic smell all around your house. No, you can put a piece of it up under the bed. You can put some of it on the counter. You can put some behind the refrigerator, whatever. 
the best way for you to use it that way i think is if you was to get some minced garlic or or take this and like smash it some kind of way even if you shave it with like a, a cheese grater or something like that and just put it in different places remember where you put it at throughout the house excuse me but you're not going to have to worry about anything coming and picking up this garlic and, and running off with it like rats and stuff like that i i don't think they even bother it because the smell is repulsive to most insects so the garlic is keeping the roaches away you can get just a minced garlic and you can put like a tablespoon of it or not a tablespoon i'm sorry a teaspoon or the few little a little pinch of it in the corner and it will keep the roaches away you will not if you put this throughout your house you won't see roaches anywhere if your house is infested with roaches of course you'll have to use more garlic so the next thing that i would recommend is garlic powder if you can get some real true garlic powder and you can sprinkle that throughout your house you will notice it it might take a little bit of time it might not it didn't take any time at all for me all i did was put this garlic up there on top of that coffee pot and no roaches was like heck no we will not go so you can sprinkle garlic powder um garlic powder smell is going to be probably kind of loud maybe not maybe not it might not be too bad um or either you might be able to take and put it like um you know the little sauce containers that you might get from the uh, mcdonald's or something like that or a chinese restaurant with a lid on it you can probably get like uh one of those and put a bunch of garlic in it or minced garlic or garlic powder and um put a lid on it and put holes in it and put it in different corners throughout the house put it up high on top of the cabinets put it behind the refrigerator put one up under the refrigerator and those roaches will probably still live in the walls but they'll most likely end up going outside to find food instead of coming inside of your house put it at different places where you know roaches tend to visit it and you'll see that you'll start seeing them less and less also you can take and either get some minced garlic or clove and boil it in hot water and then pour that substance inside of a spray bottle i recommend leaving the whole garlic clove don't do minced garlic and don't do garlic powder because it's most likely going to stop up your spray bottle so take the garlic clove boil it pour that water inside of a bottle and drop that clove down inside of that bottle and spray with it now this is going to leave a smell your this is the one that you might not favor the most but it's going to work pretty decently because of the simple fact that that smell like i said is going to be more aromatic with you boiling it and the roaches are going to be like uh no homie we ain't dealing with that okay so for all you crazy naturalists out there who raid isn't working for you and you don't want to use those crazy chemicals get you some garlic baby get you some garlic chop that thing up and put it throughout different places in your house and watch them roaches not come around i love y'all <laughs> thank you so much for coming to join me thank you so much for trusting my advice thank you so much for the feedback thank you so much for all the likes y'all hit the like button hit the like button so that your girl can be shared with other people who need to know this information everybody can't have all these chemicals around them breathing and stuff like that but your grandma your grandpa your auntie that's sick your, your cousin who got these kids with these sensitive sensitive lungs, they can have garlic around them. If the baby find the garlic on the floor and the baby eat the garlic, the garlic ain't gonna kill them. It's different from whenever you have a roach spray or something like that, or you gotta bomb your whole house, take your family out of the house for two hours and stuff like that. Get you some garlic. Hide it in inconspicuous places and um, try to keep your house clean, but get you some garlic, put it in different places, high and low, and watch how the roaches don't come around that garlic okay thank y'all thank y'all so much thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for pressing the like button thank you for giving me your time thank you for um having for taking my advice toda rabba that means thank you extended toda rabba to all of you i love you so much and toda rabba to the most high for giving us garlic for giving us ways to heal and to clean and to do without having to spend a whole bunch of money or mix up a whole bunch of chemicals. Roaches didn't just get here. You know what I'm saying? 
But um, anyway, um, I love y'all again. And try it. Try to guard it really.